everybody. I hope you guys are all having a great start to the week. Um, hope everybody had a really nice weekend. I did survive the city, so that was uh, that was interesting. But yeah, I'm glad to be back uh, back to my little routine and back here sharing some things with you guys. So um, what I've got today is three large journals. This one I've named Bloom. These are all um, using Nick the Booksmith's course. Um, so it's it's all been handmade. These are not altered books. Um, I've got Bloom. I've got Wildflower. And then this one I have named Poppy. So let's just get started with Bloom first. Um, so I've got the book plate. This is, I believe, a Tim Holtz book plate. Um, and then um, this one's been covered with fabric. All of them have been uh, covered with fabric, but just slight variations. Um, inside, um, they're very different. Um, the covers, each of the covers I've done slightly different. So I'll just have to go very quickly, guys. I'm not going to be able to pull everything out. But if you've bought for me in the past, you know I'm very generous with um, the ephemera. So here on the front, I've got uh, wherever life plants you bloom with grace and love. And then there's just various bits of ephemera. Like I said, there are five um, signatures. These are over 220 uh, pages. So this is a big, big journal. Um, this would last, I think most people, this, this could be like a year a year long journal. Let me just lift that up slightly so you can see a bit more. Um, Okay, within the papers, I've used um, digitals. I've got um, every page that's been added in here is a vintage book page of some sort, and it's just a big mix. I just, I really am feeling the push to do a lot of clearing out, um, and that includes my books. So. This has just been a collection of all the things I've got in my stash, and I absolutely love how this has come out. I feel um, like this; these journals here totally represent me and my style um, because I love working with kits, but you can sometimes feel a little bit restricted with, with a kit. Um, and that's not to say I don't enjoy it, because I do. But this, I love these. I love um, the eclectic mix of this. And in every journal, I went out um, a couple weeks ago, and I just started gathering some um, various um, leaves, little wild flowers and then I've just laminated these and I really think they're so sweet. So each one of these has got something very different in it. Um, but I have included one of those. I just this I in when I created this I I thought this is a garden journal. This is for somebody who loves flowers, um, who likes gardening, who is just looking forward to summer is is because this weekend I did get to spend some time um, in the garden, and it just, you know, it just all of it just seemed to come together. Um, this is an old um, children's book page. Like I said, it's just a complete mix, but I have really enjoyed working on these. This is just an old book page that um, I folded up, made a pocket. My sewing machine was really not cooperating that day, so. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there, that's that's just we're not even going to talk about that <laughs> um, here. Oh yes, my little um, vintage labels. I think I counted. I've got about eight tags that I've made, and these are not replicas, guys. These are the genuine things. So, um, and I can already feel that stuck in there. Oh, will I ever ever learn? Okay, I'll have to do some some work on that. Honest to goodness, every time I make something, um, these are getting stuck. So I'm going to have to come back and work on that. But 
Um, these, like I said, I think I counted eight per journal. Um, so let me just flag this thing because that's got to be dealt with. Lots of um, tea dyed papers. I love these papers. Um, I've done fabric ruffles, snippet rolls, um, not snippet rolls, snippet um, tabs. And like I said, I'm not going to pull out all the ephemera because I just don't have time today. I've got, uh, I've got to get through all three of these, and then I've got so much going on. Um, so you, I'm just going to do a quick flip through, and you can see it's just a, a big mix of um, beautiful vintage pages. Um, this was some of the little note, scrappy notepad things that I made. Um, these are some of the collage pockets that I made. And I showed, there's another one of those vintage labels. Um, so yeah, it's just been really, really fun to, uh, I wonder if that one's, no, that one's loose. That's great. <laughs> um, this was some uh, avocado uh, digital that I recently purchased. And I believe it's Taylor Junk Journals. What I'm going to do, guys, is in the description box below, because I've got some of my ladies, um, that I've worked with. Um, Tracy's in here. Eileen, who is Seneca Pond Crafts. I've got her things in here. I've got some of um, Artie Mays. But then I've also got some things that I've purchased for my own um, use. Um, and so I'm going to put a link below on this video to everybody. Look at that. Isn't that fab? I love those little... Um, these were, you know, part of my um, flea market haul. And this is a double pocket here. Now, I do want to explain on these pockets, because they've all been kind of set um, the same. I've taken old vintage book pages. Now, that wasn't vintage, but it's still a botanical. Um, and I've made pockets out of those. This, um, this idea came from Christy, who is Twins for Me Too. She um, recently did a journal, which is on its way to me. <laughs> I can't wait to get that, Christy. Um, and she had done something similar to this, but she she had, had embellished it a bit more. But I've just backed this and did it, folded it up like a trifold and just clipped it over. So that's where the inspiration from that came from. And I believe she said um, she got the inspiration from Roxy's Creations. I just haven't seen... Um, Rachel's video on that yet because I'm so far behind. I've um, I've not been active very much socially um, on the social networking. Um, you know, the last week I've just well, I just haven't had the time, and um, I'm finding it's really just it's eating away at my time, and I I just don't have the time to spare. So I've really been um, away quite a bit. So that's why I've got to. Um, Hopefully in the next week I can start, you know, catching up on some of these um, projects that everybody's been up to. I've got Edith Holden book pages in here, old um, music sheet pages. Uh, I don't think you'll find anything white in here. I tried to be very, oh, this is avocado paper. Uh, I tried to make sure that everything was, um, you know, all the white was covered. This is what I'm talking about with the snippet tabs. I've put those in. I've got wallpaper um, pockets here. You've got a pocket here and then one here. And, and I've tried to make sure that every pocket's got at least one piece of ephemera um, in it. So what I had, like I said, I had in mind was somebody who is into gardening or, you know, is, is just planning a really active summer. I thought, I don't want to overly um, embellish, but having said that, it just took on a life of, the, of its own and it has ended up a really big journal. Um, I, I had a couple of um, custom orders that had requested that I just do you know, a journal without, you know, with pockets, but not really heavily embellished. And so I thought, well, at the same time, I'll go ahead and make a couple to put in the shop. But as I said, as this has went along, this is a pocket. Um, these have actually ended up um, with quite a bit 
inside. To, hang on, I've got to put something on that. I'm glad I spotted that. Um, I want to tell you about those tabs. These are so, so sweet. Um, and I'm planning these as a freebie, but I'll tell you, I scanned them. And because they're predominantly white, um, I don't know how great the scan uh, it doesn't seem, it seems to have only cut off around the um, stitching. But anyways, this is going to be a freebie. I'm going to put the link below. Um, and there's three of these with different designs. So I want to tell you what these are. These are the embroidery, um, the vintage embroidery patterns that you can um, iron on and then you can embroidery. So I have backed that to some cardstock and I love these. So each of the journals has got one of these, but as I said, I'm going to put this, um, I'm going to put a link below, and I hope that those have come out okay, but I'm doing the best I can with these scans, guys, because I want to do, I do want to offer, you know, some freebies on a regular basis. Love these papers. Um, I'll have to check on who I got these from. These are just so, so pretty. Oh, this is an old book page. I think this one's dated back to like the early 1900s. So those have been included. There's some, um, my father-in-law <coughs> recently gave me an old uh, atlas here that's got all the cities, towns. And so he asked me, he said, can you make use of this? I said, oh, absolutely. So this is all um, maps, um, English. It's All these are little towns from England. So, And this is um, that book page. I recently got that book from under Tracy's recommendation. Oh, gosh, there's so much to show you guys. Um, it's just a really, really big... Um, this is one of those Kath Kidson um, envelopes. You can write inside of it. I haven't closed that. I was just going to see if I could get one. I'll have to take it out so you can, you can see. I've not glued it, but it's, it's meant for you to write and then address it, stamp it, and mail to somebody. I, I just love those... Um, the designs that she has on those and then on the other side what I did here this is a vintage bird um, book page and I've just backed it with tea dyed paper so it's kind of like a big journaling uh, card like I said all of the elements every journal is going to have the only thing I'm probably going to show you on the others is maybe the front and back cover this is the um, Kath Kitson paper. Oh, that is white. Sorry, that's the only sheet I think it's in here. Uh, but I love that paper. Another little pocket here. Love these. Beautiful. I believe this is um, antique papering. Another one of the vintage flower um, seed packet labels. <clears throat> Just a huge, huge journal for you to write in. Um, like I said, fabric. I've tried to put um, every signature's got a fabric ruffle and a fabric snippet tab. Um, another little tuck spot here with another vintage labeled tag. Yeah, I absolutely loved making this. This is a pocket back here. It was just fun to get all of my books out and uh, really go through and just not worry about things being so matched up. And and now that I've done it, I, I guess it was something you guys know I've been struggling with for a while. But now that I've done it, I think I've kind of overcome that fear of mixing. And I love the look of it. I, I just, I love these journals so much. This is a pocket here, a pocket here. And then a pocket back here. So you've got three pockets on that. I didn't add journal cards because, like I said, the, the, they're so big as it is. This is a tuck spot. This is with that old typewriter manual um, exercise book. Yeah, I pulled everything out. I was like, oh, gosh. You know, you, see, you tend to, when things are put away, you tend to forget. These are um, French and German book pages. You tend to forget what you've got, and it was just really nice to get everything out and 
just see what I had. And uh, oh, the doily sandwich between um, the baking paper. Love those carrots. Aren't those just so beautiful? So vibrant those labels are. So you got two pockets on this. This is just some old um, doily that I've snipped apart and stitched a button to. Another little tag here. And then on the back here, <coughs> I've got my label. And then these are from Seneca Pond. Aren't those just the sweetest little journaling cards? And you've got, you can put the date, the name, the event. This is part of her, um, I believe it's the Cottage Garden Kit. I'll put the link below. Okay, so I've got to sort that one out. But this is Bloom. Sit that over there. And next is Wildflower. And as you can see, this is slightly different. This is showcasing um, uh, Nature Walk. This is um, Artie Mays. Because I thought that coordinated really nicely. I wanted the bee to show through. Um, and like I said, everything else. This is Artie Mays collage papers in this one. And then again, <coughs> one of the old vintage French labels. And then another one of Seneca Pond's journal cards here. So really, everything inside is the same. It's just, you know, mixed up slightly different. This is what I've included here for the little um, dried uh, it was like a little fern leaf. I love how that's come out. And then the back on this one, I've, I've just made this big coin um, pocket. And that's been glued down completely. So when you open it up, you've got room here to add some things. And I, I've started cutting these down because I found... When those coin envelopes went all the way to the top, it was very difficult to get stuff in and out. So I've started cutting those down a little bit, and I like it much better. Um, so that's what's on the back there. And like I said, everything else is basically the same. It's just, you know, in a different order, uh, but it's got the same elements. So that is Wildflower. Set that one over here. And then the last one is Poppy. And <coughs> Poppy's the one that I've, it's got the diary on the front, and isn't that beautiful? So, if you guys have been following me, you'll remember a while back I had purchased a um, pillow sham. And I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use it because I loved it. That's what this is. I've covered this with the, and I'm just crazy over this. It is so feminine and soft and it's just you can just imagine um, walking through a field of wildflowers and the popsy poppies and uh, I just love it love it love it and then this is the front um, cover of this one and there again it's another one of Seneca Pond's journal cards and um, and then another one of the these are all vintage uh, French labels I don't know if I said that they were from France, but um, and like I said, this now this one's got a larger one of those um, ferns, and everything else, like I said, it's the same. It's just um, been placed in a little bit differently. And then on the back, I added um, another one of those tags, and then this is another one of the. Um, it's like a tri trifold uh, journaling page, I guess. So there they are, guys. Those are already in the shop, and I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys. Um, I still haven't gotten around to uh, listing any of these seed packets, but I will try to do that. But I just... Sorry, guys. I just hit the um, button by mistake. Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick update as to what's happening. Um, next week we've got to go away. Um, something's come up. And so um, if I'll probably have to, to put my vacate, you know, the shop on vacation or something because um, 
I won't be able to do any shipping next week, but I, I'm fine up until Saturday. Um, you know, if anybody purchases these, they'll definitely go out in the next day or two. But um, with regards to the other stuff in the shop, I am working very hard to try to get some smaller items in there. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, if I'm going to be doing, you know, ephemera packs, um, some smaller journals. And yes, I am, but um, I'm just, I have... A lot of orders I'm trying to get caught up on and this week away wasn't planned it's just something you know has come up and so that's really thrown me off so I'm trying to get everything caught up this week but I will be doing that guys and obviously as soon as I do I will let you know but um, I'll be back hopefully um, I'm gonna try to, to work in a create with me but I'm just gonna have to see if you know how things work over the next couple of days but I will certainly give it my my all to try to get some kind of little um, create with me up here with for you guys to see but I hope everybody's having a great week and I will see you guys back here very soon take care bye